Hello, welcome back to Hostify. My name's Alex, and this is the Ubiquiti Unify AI port. Now, the AI port is on sale now in the UK and the US for $200 or around £200. And it's essentially an add-on device for the Unify Protect system. What it would do is um, it's offloading some of the AI compute for older cameras like G3, uh, G4 and G5. So it can enhance those cameras with things like license plate detection and some other AI features. Now, the AI port looks very similar to the Unify Viewport, which is a HDMI accessory for Unify Protect, whereas this one is simply sort of a a separate processing device and what it can do is power another camera if you want it to um, and you don't have to use the second port so a lot of ubiquities advertising and their marketing has has a, a second camera coming off the second port but that is not required what you can do is simply attach it anywhere in your network so it could be powered off a random switch somewhere in your unify network and then it can essentially pair with one of those cameras and enhance its capabilities in early april ubiquity released 4.75.3 which enables support for way more cameras than previously so this device can still only be used with one third-party camera but you can use multiple official ubiquity cameras with it so you can use five hd cameras at once with a device four 2k cameras or two 4K cameras. So that's a really, really good addition. So what we're gonna do in this video is test the AI port's capabilities by comparing it to a standard G5 Flex camera and also a G3 Bullet. Now the G3 Bullet is one of Ubiquiti's very, very early cameras. And the only thing it supports is motion detection. So Ubiquiti says that pairing an AI port with a G3 Bullet will give it vehicle classification details, person detection, vehicle detection, animal detection, but also license plate detection. So we're gonna test all of those features in this video. We're gonna compare how quickly the G5 Flex picks up a person walking next to it versus the G3 Bullet, but also uh, license plate detection on the G3 Bullet. The G3 Bullet I'm using is a little old now, so some of the, uh, the footage is a little bit cloudy, but I'm hoping that it will work just fine. So the next thing we're going to do here is adopt the AI port to my Unify Protect system. So I've got a CloudKey Gen 2 Plus set up here with two cameras. So the left one on the on here is the G3 Bullet. So it's slightly cloudy at the top there. And the one on the right is the G5 Flex. I will have to move the G5 Flex over slightly so it gives a fair comparison of where the field of view is. So what we're going to do now is plug the AI port into my network and get it adopted. So what I'm actually doing is powering the AI port with PoE Plus or 802.3 AT. And Ubiquiti says on here that that's required for PoE or AF output on the second port. If you want PoE Plus output, uh, you will have to power it with PoE Plus Plus, which is 802.3 BT. In this instance, all I'm going to do is adopt it to the cloud key and not have any cameras attached to it. So I'm logged log back into Unify Protect now. We can see the AI port has got a valid IP address within the range that I'm using, and we can click to adopt here. So the AI port now is adopted into the network. Uh, it's up to date, let's just double check. So 4.72.14, it does need an update here to adopt multiple cameras, um, but that will come in a minute. Um, so it says pair AI port to a non-AI camera or connect it with a camera physically. So we're gonna pair the camera and we're gonna pick our G3 bullet here. Let's click save. So what you can see now is that the G3 bullet has now got an AI logo next to it. Um, and that means it's enhanced by the AI port. So if we click on plus here, the image hasn't got any better. Um, but what we can now do is come down and set up some detections. So if we go to the recording settings, and then we've got create AI event. So that's animal, face, license plate, person, or vehicle. Um, and there is also some audio detections as well. So that's really, really good. Uh, we're gonna turn on the time and camera name as well. So what we're gonna do here is align the G5 uh, flex so it's a bit more fair to compare it to the G3 bullet. And then we're gonna run some tests to see how quickly uh, the G3 bullet detects a person versus the G5 flex. So we've got a G3 bullet here, G5 flex, and a nanostation AC. Behind me, I've got some uh, buildings which have got a nanobeam AC on for various things we've got here, but just attach my network to that, pass the VLAN through, and I've got my camera system live. I've got a speaker stand, pretty standard stuff, nice and cheap, some ethernet cables. And then in the bag here is some interesting stuff. So we've got a power bank with a three pin socket, it's like a 230 volt socket, uh, a four way extension lead, and then two PoE injectors. Then what I did was we've got two ports here. So I powered the nanostation AC 
with 48 volt passive PoE. So we've got that on port two and then a pass-through connection to the G5 Flex, just PoE pass-through. Then what I did with the G3 bullet is to avoid having a switch down here is I just conjoined the two PoE uh, injectors together. So one goes to the uh, uh, G3 bullet, one goes to the station, tiny little jumper cable between the two and job done. Pretty simple. So what I've done is I've walked around, I've got the two cameras in the same sort of field of view. And let's just have a look at how quickly each camera picked up that there was a person in the frame. So let's start with the G5 Flex here. So we've got two um, recordings here. Let's make this a bit bigger. And obviously the, the, the field of view is a little bit wider than the G3 bullet, but there's a, a slight delay as soon as I enter frame that it picks up this a person. And there's also about between 83 and 90 percent confidence that it's a person as well so that's relying on the g5 flexes built-in cpu and stuff now if we go to the g3 bullet for some reason there's a weird bug um it's just detecting three cameras at the same time you can see that it's picked up my face so it's recognized that that's a face of interest it's it's logged it in a, a database um, on the Unify Protect system. So I can go ahead and add a name to that and it will tell me if that person has been seen again. So it's got a nice close up of my face there. It's quite interesting it's worked on the G3 bullet because of the, the relatively low resolution. So let's have a quick look at when I enter, enter the frame. So it looks to me a little bit quicker. It's not much, but it's a little bit. And the confidence level is a much, much higher um, than it was with the G G5 Flex. So I'd imagine that in real time that the AI port is managing to detect a bit more accurately if that's a person or not. Um, so that's, that's quite interesting. So with the face information, um, obviously this is a standard feature on the AI um, cameras, but what you can do is click on faces here. So it's just picked up me. So I can put in Alex here. Let's say I'm a person of interest, so I'll be notified if I'm seen again. Um, we'll just do save there. I can upload a custom picture if I want to as well. So it says that Alex was seen there. If we go back to person and then faces, you can see it nicely groups that, that person into um, into uh, a little folder and it seems really accurate. So, so I was quite far away and so that looks a little bit blurry. So it's quite impressive that it's managed to pick that up. Now what we can do as well is now that the AI port has updated itself to the latest software, we can add some more cameras. So you can see here, available capacity is five HD or 2K cameras or uh, two 4K cameras. And it says or zero onvif. So you can't add multiple onvif cameras at the same time as any other ubiquity cameras. So we are gonna run some more tests, but we do manage and then click on G5 flex. So both the G5 and the G3 bullet are now being um, now being optimized or enhanced by the uh, AI port. So I'm going to do the exact same test again. It'd be interesting to see if the uh, confidence level has improved now that we're offloading the detection capabilities to the AI port from the G5 Flex, and also if it picks me up a little bit quicker as well. And also the resolution differences between the two cameras is quite a bit different. So it'd be interesting to also to see if the, the face detection works as well. So let's go back in and have a look what we recorded. So let's go back to find anything. Then we'll go back to the G5 Flex here. So you can see that now the G5 Flex has got the power of the AI port. It's now picked up the face of interest. And it has got, by the look of things, detection if it is actually me or not as well. So let's click on people and faces. So by the look of things, it hasn't managed to group them together which is interesting so it's actually picked me up as a different person i imagine because of the resolution differences between the two so let's add a name to that one so that might group them together potentially so let's refresh that no so that's strange it's actually did that what we can do is merge them now so we'll merge those two faces together and let's do that so that will give it a bit more information on who this person is. So one's a G3 bullet and one's the G5 flex. So that should, over time, give it a bit more data to base its detections on, which is quite good. So let's have a look how quickly the G5 flex now 
picked me up and also the confidence level compared to the G5 Flex by itself. So over here, you can see there I am in the frame, slight delay, but no more than it was before. But what we can now see is that the confidence level has been increased to a very similar level to the G3 Bullet, which is really, really good to see. So next what I did is I parked a car about 17 meters away from the camera. And you can see I'm just backing up the car and I'm going to drive past the, the camera and see at what point it picked me up and at what point it couldn't pick me up. So I've got all the detections turned on. So you can see here it's picked it up with the correct registration and the fact that it's a blue car and it's an SUV, which isn't correct. But the G5 Flex with the AI port looks to manage to go about 16 or so meters before it can't pick up the reg and then it just detects a car, which is quite cool. So what I'm seeing here with the G3 Bullet is that it didn't actually pick up the reg at all the second time I did this. So if we look at the vehicle and then the G3 Bullet, all three of them, um, it did pick up the reg when I was maneuvering it, when it was quite close. Um, and also when it was about, that looks to be about 10 meters potentially, and then it couldn't really see it, even though the reg is quite clearly quite readable. Um, if we fast forward a little bit here to where I did move it, which is about 5 minutes and 10 seconds. Let's have a quick look here. So G3 bullet, I'll go back to there. So vehicle type, vehicle color. So the at the moment, the vehicle detection on the G3 bullet doesn't seem to work at all when it's more than 10 meters away, which is really strange. Um, so that's me measuring how far it was in meters. So even even at this point here, it can't even pick up the reg. Just it's a car and it's blue. That's as far as it got. So in terms of license plate detection, it it supports it in, in, in relatively distances, but as something to rely on. I would look at getting a newer camera if you're looking for license plate detection. I wouldn't just rely on the G3 Bullet alone. It doesn't look like it's that capable even with the addition of the ai port detections as well but again if we look at the uh, g5 flex um, the resolution obviously is a lot clearer um, and it's picking up it's a car and the registration for a very long way um, a lot lot further than the the g3 bullet was able to there we go and about 16 meters it drops off which is quite good really so overall i'm actually quite impressed with what ubiquity has managed to do with the ai port it's a relatively good price at $200 or £200 in the UK. It seems to add some quite usable features to the older cameras that you might have on your system. And it means you don't have to fork out for new AI style cameras just to get license plate detection. As I found in this video with my short testing that it doesn't seem to work that well with license plate detection on the G3 style cameras. And um, I think that would require some more in-depth testing. Um, but on my very very initial sort of brief overview it does seem to work quite well with the obviously the g5 cameras and it adds a bit more a bit more detection uh, capabilities to those older cameras but i'd love to know what you think about the ai port in the comments down below as always don't forget to check out hostify we have unify uisp and tp link Armada hosting from just nine dollars per month check out the link in the description and sign up today thanks for watching my name's alex and i'll see you again next time